Okay, so we're gonna try to put the battery in now. Um, we've come up with a crazy plan. Problem is, the battery hole is actually smaller than the battery itself. So that hole is only about, what is it, 18 inches tall or something? And the battery's over 20 some inches tall. So what we're gonna try to do is, this is the top battery. We're gonna try to slide it in then there's a jack in there. We're gonna try to jack it up till it's on the, t and then Katya is gonna be on the other side putting, stacking blocks in. And then we're gonna jack it up as high as we can get it. And then um, somebody gonna be out here, probably me or someone, holding the other end up. And then um, we will then try to slide the orange thing, the, the uh, battery stand in. Um, we're not sure it's gonna work, um, but we're gonna give it a go. It's nighttime now, but um, well, the plan worked. It was a lot harder than we thought, but it worked. Um, we got the battery in. We were able to use the jack to jack it up and then balance it. And then we had Conti on the other side stacking blocks, and we were able to to um, lift it up and then get the uh, the battery cage in there. Um, so that part this morning when I sort of was telling Michelle, hey, this is how I think we should do it. Um, she thought it was crazy. So whenever we have a crazy plan like that, we always say, hey, can you draw it for me or explain it better that way? And so here's the drawing that I have. And um, it kind of shows the bay and, and, the, uh, and the long two by six and the, the cart and everything. So, um, so I tried to explain it and she was like, you know what, let's just go do it. So, <laughs> so we came out here, we did it, all of our kids helped and we're moving things around and stuff like that and everyone kind of worked as a team and we had a pretty big celebration when it finally got in there. But um, here it is. Um, we've only got half of it in right now. It took us probably 45 minutes to get the battery in, but then it took another probably four hours to, um, to find the bolts in the back. And we actually only got three of the four, but I'm gonna call that good. I was surprised we even got that many. Cause we have to reach up and over the battery and then blindly try to like screw these, these big giant bolts in. Let me see if I can, if I can show them. I don't know if we can see them way up in there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to see if we can see them. But they're way back in the back like that. So anyway, we did end up taking the inverter out, which was, uh, which was one thing we weren't sure uh, if we were going to be able to do that or not. And um, because there was no way we were going to have enough room. So anyway, so now that battery is secure um, in the back. So there's now there's three there's a piece of L angle in the back and then there are three big bolts that are holding it to that back wall and then here on the sides what we're gonna do is we have bolts for these so now we've got to drill holes we weren't sure exactly where they would fit so we didn't want to pre-drill these holes and then be back be back and and we didn't know how far forward or backward it was gonna sit um, so now we're gonna go drill those out and then um, go ahead and install those bolts. So there'll be three bolts on the side, 
three bolts on the other side, and then three bolts along the back, which should be plenty. There are six bolts on the bottom of this cage. I think they're three eighths inch bolts going all the way through the, through the plywood, then all the way through the bus floor, and then bolted with big old washers up underneath the bus. So this cage should not be going anywhere. Um, it does weigh about, I'm gonna say 420 pounds since I don't I don't know how much the actual cage weighs by itself, but the battery weighs a little over 400. So um, it was quite a task for our little family to try to get this big module in here. So it was fun. Um, it, it was jacked up and it was balancing and we were all trying to hold it and everyone was kind of pitching in and and it was it was actually pretty comical. But um, it went much smoother than we had anticipated. But it's in there for now. Um, we're gonna work on doing the top thing and then tomorrow hopefully we'll slide the bottom one in. And um, so we'll put the floor down, um, which the other battery is gonna sit on another piece of wood. We'll put the floor down and then we'll slide the next battery in and then we'll connect the top battery to the bottom battery. In. This, look at that washer, it's like, oh, maybe I can fudge it that way. It's okay, there's a little bit of room, remember? Yeah. Let's see if you can move the battery. Well, that's not gonna help. I couldn't move the battery when it wasn't bolted down. <laughs> Jeez. You check it, you check it with these, you whatever. <laughs> all right morning so today we're gonna be looking at um our bms came with temperature probes so um this battery originally came with temperature probes in the back about i think four or five of them and there's a little slot in the back where they kind of fit but it's way too small so what we're thinking of doing is we're gonna bend one of these little cells back like this from what we understand is get these right next to the pouch so what we're going to do is bend them in and then just sort of kind of stuff them in there like that just so they're right next to the pouch so they're actually measuring the temperature of the pouch and not the ambient air temperature or the temperature of, of something else if we do it like this um, the pouches when we saw some videos of it being taken apart so the pouches go kind of flat and then they rise up and then um, uh, get bigger like that. So there's a, there's like a little void in the front that I think we can take advantage of um, to fit these wires in. So we've uh, last night we finished putting in the top battery and bolting it down and securing it. And so now um, we are going to try. So we're, we're trying to see if this is not too much of a pain to um, to put these wires in. If it isn't, then we'll just go ahead and do it while it's in there. And it's looking like it's gonna be okay. It's looking like it's not gonna be too bad. This is now set up on these little jacks and it's set up on here so we've lifted the battery up. And so we're gonna slide this in and then hopefully just slide it all right on through. So we've got um, everything protected here. Um, we're gonna also put something on the, on the legs just to be sure, you know, in case it hits, that we don't get a, a short or anything like that. There's only three temperature monitors, so we're gonna do probably two on the bottom and then one on the top. Um, for no other reason than we can bend them out out here, and this is the second battery going in. So um, this should be long enough to reach our BMS, um, so that shouldn't be an issue either. So this is, we're prepping to, to get ready to put it in right now. You in, babe? Yeah. How's the alignment looking? I think so far so good. Okay. All right, I think it's, yeah, keep pushing. See. Okay, well, I'm gonna take this board out. Okay. Oh my God. 
What's wrong? Is it not lined no, up? No, it is. I think it is. So... Okay, yeah. Alright, you want to go around the oh. other side? Let's take a look. Hmm, that's a problem. Let's see. We have to cut off these screws. Yeah, we knew that. We did? Oh yeah, yeah we did. We just said yep. we needed we those needed handles. on there to lift it. Yep. Yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> okay, yeah, it's in. All right, so it's we've in. got the battery in, um, top one and bottom one. So as we described before, um, the way this is held on is um, we've got these, <clears throat> these bolts that we've drilled holes into pretty precisely so that it can't slide back and forth. So it's being held, these go all the way through every pack all the way to the other side. So they just barely fit in there. So there's no way that thing can move around. Um, this, as we said before, there's see there's a gap right there that just compresses the whole battery just a little bit. Um, these are BMS wires here. So we've got them all taped on the ends just to be sure we don't get any shorts or anything like that. So um, so we're about to bolt this in. And once we bolt it in, that'll the battery will officially be in the bus. So um, it's a pretty exciting time for us. We didn't know if we were going to be able to get this in here. Um, we weren't able to show any close-ups last night because it was so dark. But we went ahead and secured these guys in. Um, and that's in, like, that's not going anywhere. Those are huge bolts. So, um, this is the heavy duty bracket that the Nissan battery, uh, came with. So, it's a pretty, it's a pretty stout little bracket. So, um, this should be able to hold everything in place so that there's no danger of it moving around or shifting as we travel. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten this down and then we're gonna connect, um, the two batteries together with those big thick cables that we made and then um, get everything all covered up and sealed up and then we'll seal up the other side and and uh, we'll be ready to start installing some of the electronics. All right, all buckled up on the top. So the only thing we have to do over here is this panel. There's a panel, um, this was an AC vent before so there's a big blower fan here and there's a big iron uh, motor that was sitting here and it basically ate most of the floor out so that's why we cut this all out and actually it serves really good now as um, just as a vent for our AC unit here so we're hoping that this vent is good enough to keep out like rodents and stuff like that we've um, we've heard of people that have problems with mice and stuff like that crawling in so we're trying to minimize so we've gone ahead and patched so you can see some of the patches here so we've patched a bunch of the bigger holes so I don't know about these we're probably gonna end up doing these too so we'll see but uh, we'll patch that big one because that's gonna keep the cold air on that side and then the hot air over here and we'll probably insulate this wall so insulate between the two um, and then when we park or something, we'll probably lift this door up so that this this uh, AC unit can vent out uh, out the side of the bus. Anyway, uh, that's the that's the progress so far. All right. Well, the battery is pretty much all the way in, so it's all strapped down. It's all sealed up. All the BMS wires have been done. The temperature sensors are put in. It's been connected the top one to the bottom one with those big thick cables um, so it's pretty much ready for the next part which will be um, wiring in fuses and uh, relays and contactors and the BMS and stuff like that so we've taken the inverter out that's the solar charge controller so we're gonna try to do that next um, because once we get the inverter in here the, the space closes up and our daughter's maybe going to be the only one that can crawl in there. So earlier she crawled in and literally turned around in there. So <laughs> we're in there struggling just to like fit and try to maneuver our arms and she's turning around in there. Where we had areas that had like close, like this was a little close here. Um, there, there's the, the contacts are under there. So what we did was we stuck 
a fairly thick piece of rubber just in between there, just in case, you know, just in case it bumps around. Same with here. There's the copper bus bars are under there, so we kind of stuck that on there just to uh, just to protect it. We're gonna test the voltage just real quick to be sure that um, that everything got wired okay. So here, um, so these are our BMS wires. So what we do is we take the most negative one and the most positive one, and we should see something like 55 or 56 volts across those two. So um, here's our voltage meter. So we'll hook the negative one up to the negative and see if I can do this. There we go, 55.7. So, right about what we expect. We're gonna tackle the charge controller next, um, just because it's way back in there. So, we actually have a, we ordered the, it's called a VE Direct cable, and it basically allows um, this little color control monitor that we bought from Victron to control both of these things and make them talk to each other and things like that so it knows when to shut it off and when to turn it on and how much power it's bringing into the system and it's a pretty cool uh, little visual that shows kind of where your power is coming from and how much power you're consuming uh, on the AC side and stuff like that so um, it's pretty neat so we're gonna we're gonna look at that and um, we're gonna get those things crimped Anyway, this is it. We're super excited about it and super happy with the way it turned out. So if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them down below and we, we try to answer as many questions and, and comments as we can. So um, we're still learning. Um, if you see something that we did wrong, please point it out. Um, again, we're like I said, we're still learning and we think we did a, a fair amount of research and we thought this was the way to go and I think it's going to work out really well for us.